So you have your list of big ideas and now it's time to ask the question, am I offering something that people actually want or need? It is so important to make sure that before you start investing time and money into building a company, into you know creating a product or developing a service, that you are actually offering things that people want or need if your goal is to make money. Now, if you're not trying to make money, then don't listen to me. But if you wanna make money, you have to make sure people need or want your project product. So the first thing is you definitely want to do a lot of consumer research. Everyone's using the word data now. What is data? It's research. Um, you you want to have data or research around what it is you're trying to offer and whether or not that's something that people in your particular area or your target audience, your niche audience is interested in buying. A lot of that you can do research online. You can research what people are buying and why they're buying it. It'll help you figure out not exactly, not just exactly what you're going to sell, but who you're going to sell it to. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about target audience um, later when we're talking about marketing. But you definitely want to do some research and make sure what you're offering a group is something that the group actually buys. Actually, I worked for a company um, that was trying to sell a product to all women, uh, shapes, sizes, and colors, but they were selling a self-tanner and it never crossed their mind that a black woman or a woman of color with darker skin would not be interested in a self-tanner, which sounds silly. That's a very, you know, basic elementary example, but I think so many times we get this idea in our head that because we want to sell something that the people we want to sell it to want to buy what we're selling. And unfortunately, that is absolutely not true. If Google fails you, if your research is failing you, ask your friends, you know, ask, hey, you know, get on Instagram. If I offered this service or product, put it on your stories. Is this something that you all would be interested in? You know what happens if you create a product that no one actually needs? You then actually have to, in order to sell your product, create a problem and then become to the solution to the problem that you've created. So if you are selling, you know, I just watched the Dr. Seuss uh, movie, the, the Lorax, for example, he was selling bottled air to people. You know, we don't necessarily need bottled air. Why? Because there's air all around us. How did he convince people to buy it? He chopped down all the trees and made it impossible to get air. And then all of a sudden people wanted his air. That is an evil genius way to solve a problem, but it is also completely unnecessary. You don't have to create new problems in order to find solutions. Newsflash, there are problems all over the world. I could name a lot for you right now, but I'm not gonna do your work for you. This is your journey and your business. Uh, but I do definitely want to make sure that you are being, you know, critically thinking and being very self-aware when you're thinking about what the product or service is that you are trying to offer and whether or not it is something that people actually want or need. In addition to actually thinking about you know, what people want or need. If you are in a business where you are considering working with people, ask yourself if you have the patience or desire to work with people. Are you a people person? Do you want to have to, you know, work with customers or handle complaints or emails about a product or service not being delivered? Is that something that you're even interested in doing? If not, maybe you want to start a business um, that, that isn't interacting with people regularly. These are all things that you really have to consider about yourself and the ways in which you work and the ways in which you prefer to work before you start a business because so many of the businesses that I've seen fail, it hasn't even necessarily been because they didn't have a great idea or they weren't in a space where they were qualified or even because it wasn't a product or service that people wanted, um, while doing the thing, the business, the idea sounded good, the things that you had to do surrounding that, you know, like all of the tangential, you know, 
bookkeeping, record keeping, keep, like taxes, all the things that you had to do surrounding the business, they were unwilling to do. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of those things in these upcoming videos, um, the things that you are going to have to do when you decide to start your own business, but really start to ask yourself if, in addition to doing the thing that you want to do, whether you have the patience and the bandwidth to do some of the, you know, tangential tasks. Uh, it's going to be extremely important. Even I always say a dream job still requires you to work. And just because this is your business, it doesn't mean there aren't going to be days or things that you have to do that you're not interested in doing. So you want to get that out of your mind right now. The goal is obviously in the, you know, in the long term to be able to create a business where you can outsource all the stuff you don't want to do. But when you're starting from scratch, especially if you don't have any capital or much capital at all, you are your own everything, right? You are the CEO and the janitor and the secretary and the manager and the bookkeeper and the you know financial advisor. You're all of those things for yourself. Um, and if that terrifies you, then join the club. It terrified me too. And there were a lot of spaces where I had to just be okay being uncomfortable and being like, you know what? I've never done this before. You know, I've never done taxes for a business before. I've never, you know, experienced some of this marketing stuff. I've never dealt with it. I don't know what it is, uh, but I didn't run from it, right? You have to be willing to learn new skills. You have to be willing to just kind of like jump in and, and do what you have to do to get the job done. You're, you don't have a whole bunch of people to rely on. It's just you. So really start to think about these things critically as you are narrowing down your big idea to come up with the one idea. Um, when you start to come up with your, you know, when you start to narrow down to your one or two things, I would really encourage you to have conversations with people who you're close to, um, people whom you can be vulnerable with about your idea and just kind of get their feedback. It might be very clear after talking to people that one idea is a much better idea than the other idea. Um, you'd be surprised what your friends and family might have to offer um, or even your social media family, wherever you feel comfortable getting some feedback. You just definitely want to make sure that if this is you know if this is your baby if this is the thing where you're going to be like investing and growing and you're watching this entire video series in order to learn how to how to invest in this thing it's like choosing a partner right like I, you gotta really make sure that like this is if you're getting married right now like you are i'm saying a lot of things you're marrying your business in a lot of ways. You're gonna sign paperwork that says, this is mine and I commit to it and I'm responsible for it. So if, if that is what the goal is for you, it doesn't make sense to rush into something, right? You don't wanna just start the business to start the business. You really wanna make sure you are growing something that you can grow sustainably that you you know are ready to just like jump in and you've done the research and you know what to expect not that you can ever be fully ready for owning or starting your own business uh, but to the extent that you can narrowing down that list based upon what you're qualified to do and you know what you're not willing to do thinking about how you want to spend your days how you want to interact with people is going to be uh, very crucial and absolutely do not forget to ask yourself the question, am I offering a product and service that people need? If the answer is no, then it's not something you want to offer. Once you have your big idea and you have actually decided on you know your business you're like this is going to be the thing you can start to think about you know the name of your company and the formation of your company so we're going to start with name because a lot of people you know as soon as they have their company they're like okay what am i going to call it and i know a lot of you are probably at that space or have been in that space so we're just going to talk a little bit about choosing a name and trademarking and what that process looks like 